Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our chest and tricep muscles. Straight away I am going to start with the greatest stretch 5 repetitions on each side. I am feeling a lot better after recovering or somewhat recovering from my flu and I was able to manage to get a little bit of higher intensity out of my workouts. So let me begin. After finishing my 5 repetitions of greatest stretch, I am going to move on and do my deep squat. Hold there for 10 to 15 seconds. Now deep squat is something which you can do at any point of time in the day. I like it because it ensures that we go through our hip mobility and ensure our hip muscles are stretched optimally. Now you can do it pre-workout ideally because that's when we are going to get our body moving through all the ranges of motion. So I prefer to do it pre-workout, but you can do it at any point of the day. Make sure you push your glutes as far behind as possible. Feel the hamstring stretch and then go and sit in a deep squat. Ideally, if you're able to get the an amount of time, enough amount of time in a day, you may sit in a deep squat for almost 10 minutes at a time. And that's really good for your hip flexors. Post completing my deep squat, I moved on to my warm up set wherein I have done 20 to 25 repetitions of flat bench press. Now, on a flat bench press, the cue which I have mentioned last time is for you to make sure you don't flare out your elbows, don't get your elbows beside your shoulders, keep them a little slightly tucked in, and make sure you don't bend your elbows. Basically, keep them at a straight 90 degree angle just a 90 degree angle as you can see I keep my wrist as away as possible from my chest so usually you might see people bending their elbows so the dumbbell comes near to the chest just don't do that keep it keep your wrist straight and the elbows at a 90 degrees this would engage your chest far better now post completing my warm-up set I moved on to my working sets. Now for working set and a flat bench, I have done two sets, 15 repetitions to start off with. And post completing my 15 repetitions, I used pause and rest technique, wherein I paused for few seconds, then went back to the same exercise and got tried to get at least five repetitions out of it. And I have done that at least three to four times. So basically 15 plus another 15 to 20 repetitions. Now this is a extremely challenging set. As you can see, I haven't taken any bit of high amount of weight, which I can easily command when I'm about to do about six to eight repetitions. I just took a weight, which I know I can achieve 15 repetitions out of it and then try to take it far beyond failure by using the pause and rest technique. Now there are two ways to pause. You can just bring the dumbbells onto your chest and pause there or you can always get up take at least 5 to 10 seconds and then get or lay back down again and continue your repetitions make sure you keep your elbows always at 90 degrees don't bend your elbows because your triceps will get activated or at least they will start pushing the weight more than your chest does keeping your elbows at 90 degrees keep them less involved and also don't forget to always keep your chest high and above your shoulders so that your shoulders are not much activated too. Post completing my flat bench press, I immediately moved on to my incline bench setup. As you can see, I was finishing off with another failure set wherein I took a pause for four to five seconds and tried to get another five repetitions. So completed my 15 plus 20 repetitions using the pause and rest technique. Post completing my flat bench, I moved on to my incline bench. I have taken one minute break in between sets. So that's that should be fairly sufficient because we are not lifting extremely high amount of weight. But since the volume is still high, one minute should be enough to recover. And even at the incline bench setup, I have still done the two sets. So we are keeping the concept same wherein we do 15 repetitions in one go and once done with the 15 repetitions we use the pausing technique wherein we pause rest for a few seconds and then try to get another five repetitions again pause again five repetitions and accumulate at least 15 to 20 repetitions more using the same technique 
a lot of volume a lot of blood flow your chest will start feeling uh, will start feeling a little bit heavier and that's absolutely fine you might also start feeling a little bit of activation in your friend delts because because of the amount of volume we are pushing your friend delts might get activated but that's absolutely fine try to keep your chest as high up as possible and try to focus all the contractions on your chest muscle itself i'm going to speed up the video a little bit because i am sure by now you understood the concept of me going through this setup so two sets are enough and we are able to accumulate almost 60 plus 60 already 120 repetitions of chest press alone even with a 10 to 15 kilo dumbbell that's a lot of volume and weight which we have moved now post completing my incline bench setup i was supposed to do a decline bench setup but in my gym i don't have a decline bench so i'm using a crunch basically abdominal crunches bench which declines way beyond and i'm i just grabbed a couple of dumbbells which i was doing the incline on and started doing my declines uh, presses also again the setup remains same two sets 15 repetitions using the pause and rest technique wherein we pause after completing our 15 repetitions for a few seconds and try to achieve as many plus fives as possible now if you're not able to get fives maybe try drop uh, dropping the weight because you might have overloaded your chest also it is totally fine if you are hitting fatigue pretty early than 15 repetitions that's absolutely okay because of the amount of volume we are accumulating so choosing the weight would be the tricky part or the learning curve i might say but i'm pretty sure you all figured that out quickly after the first set so let the first set be the experimental set and then the second set should be able to achieve the number of repetitions post completing my decline setup i moved on to a cable crossover now in this cable crossover unlike usual i have kept the cable set up at a high position now that doesn't still change the range of motion of the exercise it is still remains the same i want to get my arms across my body and always make sure the cable is in line with your elbows so even when i'm pulling from the top down the cable remains in line with my elbows and I am taking my arms across my body, getting the maximum amount of adduction done through my chest muscles. The set is again the same, two sets, 15 repetitions, using the rest pause technique, start accumulating 5-5 five, five more repetitions out of it, try to get 15 to 20 repetitions more. Now you may rest completely or stay at a standstill. The weight does not need to be extremely challenging or really lightweight you should be near failure right about 20 to 25 repetitions and that should be fine but make sure you keep the cable in line with your elbows so that your shoulders doesn't get involved a lot or your tricep doesn't get involved a lot and all the work is being done by your chest muscles post completing my cable crossovers i move on to start working my triceps for the first exercise of triceps i have done three sets of these each hand 20 repetitions with no rest in between so that's a complete overload basically lie down on a bench take the dumbbell and just rotate your arm inwards so your shoulder is completely internally rotated and now from here do the tricep extensions it might take a little bit working to figure out the right angle but the moment you hit it you will feel an extreme amount of stretch on your tricep and even a small amount of weight would be really challenging to move across and that's absolutely fine since we are doing it without any breaks in between your triceps will hit fatigue very quickly so make sure you get those 20 repetitions on and i would suggest you to try this exercise out it's just the arm internally rotated for me the dumbbell was always landing on my chest so that angle was perfect for me and my shoulder was internally rotated so make sure you get that i'm again uh, i have sped up the video a little bit so that you don't have to go through the entire bit yes it takes a little bit of time to complete one exercise but that's the benefit of it to do without any rest 20 repetitions if you even take 15 seconds for 20 repetitions by the matter of two minutes you're done with the 
exercise entirely. Of course, if you feel a little bit of fatigue or if you're extremely tired and you're unable to do any extensions, you might want to get the weight a little bit down. Maybe, for example, right now I'm just using a 5 kilo dumbbell because I'm doing this exercise also for the first time. So I do not want to go heavy and fail unnecessarily. So I just chose with a 5 kilo dumbbell and it worked fine for me. But if you feel even that's heavy, you can obviously go for a 2.5 kilo dumbbell or a 3 kilo dumbbell, whatever is at your disposal. So try it out and let me know if you have any kind of feedback in the comment section. Post completing the lying down tricep extensions, I moved on to a seated tricep extension, but this time with the support of the incline bench setup. Now, how I did it, here you go. So for the first attempt, I have kept the incline just below one, uh, basically just about I, I don't know exactly how what is the angle but it was one increment less to absolute straight and for the second set I kept it absolutely straight but I realized the absolute straight bench doesn't really work because I was put in a very odd position and my shoulder was really pinching down on me. I liked the first setup so for the for third uh, set I switched back to the same angle. Now I've done three sets again 20 repetitions each arm as you can see. I keep the arm, working arm on the bench and take the dumbbell behind my head and from there I do the tricep extensions. Now this is a, you might say like a uh, strict curl wherein you push yourself against a wall and start curling to keep your elbows locked in. You might call this a strict tricep extension wherein you are using a bench to keep your tricep or the elbows locked in position and from there start extending as you can see from this angle how I lay completely on the bench keep my working arm supported on the bench and then let my wrist go behind my head and from there extend my triceps good work done I was able to get a lot of activation on my triceps initially I was try just trying to figure out the angle of the bench so it took me a couple of sets to realize which is the best angle and once I have realized that the third set went really well because I figured out how to go through the range of motion. So I hope you do the same bit of learning curve as I mentioned earlier. But it's good because this exercise would get a maximum out of your triceps very quickly because post completing this exercise, I had a good amount of pump in my tricep muscles. So again, in the third set, I switched back to that incline setup wherein I was just one step away from complete straight bench and as you can see how pumped up my arms were the blood flow was good I was getting good amount of stretch and contraction also at the same time if you find this exercise for any reason difficult because your shoulder starts paining or you feel that impingement in the shoulder you may definitely do the skull crusher exercise which I've shown in my last video but if you're comfortable I would suggest you to go ahead and do this particular exercise Post completing this particular exercise, I moved on to close grip presses. Basically, a close grip press is more focused on tricep. You don't want your chest activating much, unlike a regular press. So I went on the, to do the setup on a Smith machine. Now you can also use a regular rack setup where you can do it. But in a Smith machine, it takes away much of the work in terms of controlling the bar. So you can only focus on pushing the bar away from your body using your triceps. Now make sure the weight is heavy enough because we are only going to get 15 repetitions each set. And you would want to take at least 45 seconds of rest in between sets. As you can see by the time I was going to my second and third set, I was near failure and I was not able to completely get my triceps to extend. And that's absolutely fine because of the amount of work I have put them through. They have already done their job and I got good amount of results out of them. Now post completing my tricep work, we finish off with our core work wherein we do hanging leg raises. Again, using the back support to eliminate swinging and focus on the crunching part of the leg raises. Three sets, 10 repetitions with 45 seconds break in between. And we are done with our exercise routine.
post completing my exercise routine i moved on to my static stretches wherein i'm using the pvc pipe to take my arms behind my head and stretch my chest out thank you so much for joining me if you did like the video please drop a like if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe and if you have any feedback please do share in the comment section i hope you were able to match up with the intensity of the exercises and i really hope you do try out the new variations of the exercises they are not absolutely new just a little bit of variation to get a little bit of more muscle activation thank you again for joining me you have a good day and i'll see you in the next video thank you